Hello everybody, this is JT Productions, and I'm back with another preview and prediction video. Today, I'll be doing the Illinois Illini. Last season, Illinois went 5-7, and 4-5 and in the Big Ten. That's pretty good for Illinois, considering their four of their five wins were by one possession. Nebraska, uh, Nebraska, Minnesota, and at Penn State, which went to nine overtimes, and the final score was 20 to 18. One of the wildest games of this past season. If they, if those three games had swung the other way, they would have went two and ten easily. Anyways, let's look at my notes to see what I think about them. Well, they got Brett Bielema back. He's in his second season. Brett Bielema, best known for being the Arkansas Razorback coach a couple of years ago, he would. Kind of had some talented rosters, like with, um, you know, like with uh, Austin Allen, Brandon Allen, and players like that. Overall, they do not have a talented roster. Uh, looking up and down the roster, they do not have a talented roster. They do have some transfers in, some pretty good, some not. They have Dylan Davis, a left tackle transfer in from Furman. Two community college transfers at right guard. Quarterback transfer, Tommy DeVito from Syracuse, who's probably one of their best transfers. D-tackle transfer in um, Tayra Edwards, who came from Northwestern. Defensive end transfer, Rayshon Wilkins Jr., who came from Vanderbilt. And finally, cornerback transfer, Terrell Jennings, who came from Minnesota State. So, let's look and see how they're going to do this year. Week one, or week zero, I'm sorry, they play Wyoming. Wyoming, one of the better group of five teams. Not going to be a slouch, but I think Brett Bielema will get it done. He's over, he overachieved last year with Illinois' roster, and I think he does it here by beating Wyoming. Then you're on the road at Indiana. Indiana, better than you. Tom Allen has a new quarterback in account, Connor Bazelak. I think that Indiana gets the win, and you're 1-1. One and one. Then you play Virginia. Uh, I think get the win. I think Brett Bielema is good at beating teams that's around his level of talent. Illinois, while not being a very competitive team in the Big Ten, in the ACC, it would probably be a different story. So, I'll give you the win here. And then you have your first bye week. You're 2-1 going to your first bye week. Since Illinois played in week zero, they have two bye weeks. That's just how it goes. You play Chattanooga, the Chattanooga Mocs in Champaign. Really, it's week four. You'll get the win. Chattanooga, not up to your standard. Even though you're the worst recruiting team in the ACC, or in the, why did I say ACC, Big Ten, you're still better than Chattanooga. So you're three and one, not bad, not a bad start. This is where it gets ugly. You play your Big Ten schedule now. Besides, uh, or yeah, this is your Big Ten schedule now. So let's get to it. At Wisconsin, they're going to be better than you. They have a better defense. They have a good run game. Graham Mertz is serviceable, I guess you would put it. You're going to lose at Camp Randall. So it's three and two. You host Iowa. Iowa's going to be better than you. They have a better defense. Their offense is serviceable. So I think you're getting a loss there. So that's 3-3. Three and three. Then you play Minnesota. Minnesota has Tanner Morgan, Mohamed Ibrahim, and other weapons. Their defense should be decent. It should be a close game, I think. But I think Minnesota comes out with a win. So you're 3-4. and four. Yeah, 3-4 and four before your second bye week. Things have turned around in the worst way for you. Then you go on the road to Nebraska. That's going to be another loss. Nebraska is going to be one of the best West teams this year in the Big Ten. So that's three and five. Then you have Michigan State come to town. That'll be another loss. Talent differential. Purdue comes to town. That'll be a loss. They have a ten times better offense than you ever thought about. That's three and six or three and seven. Then you're at Michigan. That'll be a loss. They're one of the best teams in the Big Ten. Then you're at Northwestern. They're going to get better this year, and I think it's going to be a close game with you losing in the end. So, that turned for the worst. You finished the season 3-9. and nine. Now, that's not good. Brett Bielema, however Brett Bielema 
he did he's trying to work with one of the worst rosters in the Big Ten, probably the worst roster in the Big Ten. Give him a couple of more years and maybe he can get it back on their feet. So there you go. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which which other conferences I should do first with between the Big Twelve and the Pac twelve. And have a great day and go dogs.